Well, good day everybody. Welcome back to the High Desert Garden. Today, I just want to show you real quick how I'm going to be making a screen or a sift. Uh, basically, it's to help me sift my compost. Now, we're getting towards the end of December. It's December 23rd. We happen to have some unusually warm weather for December. So I am going to do a little bit outside today. Uh, but let me show you how I'm going to make this. It's very cheap, very easy to do. So the first thing you're going to need is, I, I think that I'm going to like using a 1 4 inch, uh, a screen with a 1 4 inch holes in it. And they call this hardware cloth. This one's 3 by 5 feet. Now my sift I'm going to build, I'm probably going to do right around 3 by 4 feet. Because uh, I don't quite need mine to be five feet long. That might be a little cumbersome. But you can pick this up for, you know, around $13 at your local hardware store. I got this one at the Home Depot. And what I'll be doing is opening that up, unraveling it. And I've already got the frame made up. And I will just be stapling it you know around the outside now I don't have real high quality staples so I will just be stapling it to hold it in place and then I'm going to add some screws for for strength um, you know because I don't have any really good strong staples you would want some sort of a uh, what do they call ring shank staple that would really hold well so let me go ahead and get this uh, put together and show you. All right, <clears throat> this is what we got so far. We got the screen spread out, stapled down, reinforced with some screws. And all you've got to do is drive that screw next to as close as you can so that it will hold. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I need to flip it over to reinforce the ends here. I'm going to show you how I do that. All right, here's the way I fastened up the other side, is I just cut a small chunk of that screen material, screwed it to each side, and this should hold it pretty firmly in place. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that this is the best way to do it, and I don't claim that this stuff is super strong. You may want to use some sort of a steel bracket, maybe even a L bracket here on the inside um, would probably work real well and I'll probably add something like that later on but for now this will work so as you can see it is nice and sturdy for now this will work real good for screening some compost so let's take it outside and give it a test alright so here we are outside it's a nice 45 degree day today Here's a compost pile, here's the screen. All right, take yourself a rake like this. All right, so I've taken a lot of the uh, undecomposed leaves, the matty leafy material off the top and I'm starting to get into some stuff which is suitable for sifting. I may just need to go a little further down, but there's a lot of uh, organic material. Well, I even got worms in here. Look at that. It's great. And uh, so I will be sifting. We'll see how much we can get in the world world. Okay, here's the compost pot once again. I'll obviously have to put it back together a little bit later. I'm going to add more nitrogen to the pile though when I do. Here is what I got. Look at this beautiful finished compost. It's just fantastic fine and this stuff will be great be perfect for my worm bins 
and uh, you know I know people are worried about bringing pests indoors when you bring soil from outdoors to the indoors uh, uh, this compost uh, is going to be used in the worm bins and I'm confident that it's going to be just fine if you have any doubts feel free to leave your comments down below but you know what stay tuned and we'll see how things go